frequently asked questions. Question number one. What is an errata? An errata are changes to any part of the text of a card other than card number that occur between reprints. Errata can be made to a card for a variety of reasons, including to fix mistakes, to update a card's terminology, or to clarify the behavior of a card so that its rulings are easier to understand, such as problem solving card text. Players are not required to own the most recent erratum of a card, but they must always be played according to the latest erratum, even if using an older copy of the card. Konami recommends using the most recent printing of a card, because that text is the most accurate. Question number two. What is the breakdown of the battle phase in Yu-Gi-Oh? Allow me to explain. There are four steps in the battle phase. One, the start step. Two, the battle step. Three, the damage step. And four, the end step. Now, let's first start with me explaining to you the start step. The start step is the first step of the battle phase. In the start step, 1. The turn player now declares that he or she is entering the battle phase. 2. Fast effects and appropriate trigger effects may be activated here, such as number 107, Galaxy Eyes, Action Dragon, or Threatening Roar, or anti-magic arrows. 3. Even if the turn player wishes to end the battle phase at this point, he must proceed to the battle step in order to do so. The next step that follows is the battle step. The battle step is one of the four steps of the battle phase. In particular, it is the step in which attacks are declared immediately after the start step or damage step ends. The game proceeds to the battle step, regardless of the turn player's intention to declare an attack. 1. During the battle step, the turn player can declare an attack by choosing one face-up attack position monster to control to attack with, and a valid attack target, the opponent or a monster the opponent controls. If the opponent controls monsters, the turn player cannot declare a direct attack unless a card effect allows them to do so such as that of Warp Key or Legendary Fisherman. Alternatively, the turn player can choose a face-up event position monster to control to attack with as long as the card effect allows them to do so, such as that of Super Heavy Samurai Big Tenkei or Chemical Hero Rampart Blaster. The turn player is not required to declare an attack during the battle step, unless a card that specifies otherwise, such as those of Berserk Gorilla, Evil Hero Delicious Fiend. 2. Upon attack being declared, players can activate cards or effects in response to the attack. This is for the rules of fast effect timing. As such, there can be only one chain made in response to the attack. All cards and effects in this one chain are in response to the attack. So cards such as Mirror Force and Dimensional Prison can be activated as separate chain links in this chain. After this chain resolves, or if neither player activates the card or effect in response to the attack, there are still opportunities to activate cards and effects during this battle step, as per the rules of fast effect timing. However, it is no longer possible to activate cards or effects in response to the attack, so cards such as Mirror Force and Dimensional Prison can no longer be activated in response to this attack. If the attack target leaves the field or a monster is placed on the opponent's field from the perspective of the turn player, at any point during the battle step when an attack is occurring, a replay occurs. 
Once an attack has been declared, the battle step does not end until an open game state is reached, and both players have agreed to move on from the battle step as per the rules of fast effect timing. Once both players have agreed to move on, if an attack is still occurring, the damage step is entered. If there is no attack occurring, the end step is entered instead. And now we will move to the next phase of the battle phase, which is the damage step. The damage step is a step during the battle phase during which battle is performed. It occurs immediately after the battle step ends, if an attack is still occurring. Only certain types of cards and effects can be activated during the damage step. 1. A turn player declares they are entering the damage step. 2. As soon as the damage step is entered, immediately apply the continuous effects of any monsters that apply during the damage step only such as those of Steamroid and Crystal Beast Topaz Tiger. 3. Next, the trigger effects of monsters that activate at the start of the damage step activate now, if triggered appropriately, such as those of Neo Spacian Grand Mode and the Mystic Swordsman monsters. The effect of some cards that state without applying damage calculation, such as Nano Breaker and Disciple of the Forbidden Spell, also activate at this point. However, other such cards that state without applying damage calculation may instead activate later before damage calculation, instead as in the old text of Drilloid. This wording only appears in cards without problem solving card text. So it is important to check if there is a newer version of that card text on the Yu-Gi-Oh! PCG card database. It clarifies the activation timing for these cards, if not may explain the activation timing if there were any issued for that card. If a face down monster is attacked, it is not flipped face up. The effects of Tusky Samurai and Reverse Buster activate at the start of the damage step and require the attack face down monster to remain face down by the time the effect resolve, which supports this point. If a face down battling monster is destroyed by a card effect now, the flip effect is not activated, the damage calculation is not performed. 4. At this point, if a face down monster is being attacked, flip it face up. If the attacked monster has a flip effect, that effect will not activate at this time. However, its effect will be guaranteed to activate later in the damage step, even if the monster leaves the monster zone before then. The same applies for monsters with other trigger effects that normally activate when they are flipped face up, supported by the Zombie World Struck the Deck reprint of Royal Diva. 5. If a monster is flipped face up and it has a continuous effect, then you generally apply the continuous effect immediately, such as the effects of monsters like Starboy and Jinzo. Continuous effects that would prevent the flipped monster from being targeted or attacked such as the effect of a Band Knight, are not applicable at this time, since the monster has already been targeted as an attack target. If the monster survives the damage step, its effect will prevent itself from being targeted by any future attacks. Continuous effects that would prevent the flipped monster from being attacked, such as the effect of Solar Flare Dragon, do not apply at this time, since the battle step is already over. If the monster survives the damage step, its effect will protect itself from any future attacks. If the flipped monster has a continuous effect that destroys itself under certain conditions that are currently met, such as Giant Kozaki or Zombie Mammoth, the monster is not destroyed yet, and the damage step proceeds normally until after damage calculation. The same applies if Rivalry of the Warlords or Ozen Match is active and the flipped monster has the wrong type slash attribute or if there is an active unclassified effect belonging either to the flipped monster or another face-up monster that states you can only control one or there can only be one monster on the field. And the flipped monster that has a name that conflicts with another face-up card on the field as defined by that unclassified effect, the appropriate actions are determined and performed after damage calculation. 
Regardless of whether or not the attacked monster was initially face down, if the attacked monster is changed to face down defense position at this point or later in the damage step, up until damage calculation is completed, such as by the effect of Gemini counter, it will be immediately flipped face up again. The trigger effects of monsters that activate before damage calculation, such as the effects of Drilloid and Terran, like Swan Monk, will activate now. This is the typical point at which attack and defense modifiers are used. Multiple chains can form. After both players have agreed that they have finished activating cards and effects in this part of the damage step, damage calculation is entered. However, if a monster has attacked and left the monster zone by card effect during this damage step, at this point, damage calculation is not conducted. The rest of the damage step proceeds normally, allowing for appropriate trigger effects to activate normally, such as those of flip monsters like Nightmare Penguin or Amazonas Sage. 6. In general, odds and effects that modify the attack and defense of a monster can no longer be activated at this point, or for the rest of the current damage step. Odds and effects that activate or apply during damage calculation do so at this point before the actual damage calculation is performed. Players can compare the relevant attack and defense values and take appropriate amount of damage if two monsters are involved in the battle, and it is determined at this time which monsters will be destroyed by the battle or not. If a monster has been determined to be destroyed by battle, it is not sent to the graveyard yet. If there is a continuous slash continuous like effect that can be used to prevent monster monster from being destroyed by this battle, such as that of Vicious Claw, the relevant player must choose at this point whether or not they will use it. If such an effect is chosen to be used, the effect does not apply at this time, it will apply at the end of the damage step. When monsters that are destroyed by battle are normally sent to the graveyard if the monster is still on the field by that point. 7. Monsters have been considered destroyed, be destroyed by battle are still not sent to the graveyard. The following rules apply. Monsters that are considered to be destroyed by battle until they are sent to the graveyard or another appropriate location. They cannot be targeted by cards or effects until their battle positions or have their attack and or defense changed. The continuous effects are no longer applied. They cannot be returned to the hand by card effects unless a card effect specifies that it can return destroyed monsters such as last minute cancel. Even then, the destroyed monster will not be returned yet at this point in the damage step. Their effects can still be negated before those monsters would be sent to the graveyard for another appropriate location. As a result of being destroyed by battle, it is possible for them to be destroyed by card effects sent to the graveyard by card effect or banished by card effect that can occur. If a monster ends up leaving the field before it can be sent to the graveyard or another appropriate location as a result of battle, cards and effects that will activate when, if that monster is destroyed by battle and sent to the graveyard, cannot be activated. It cannot be used as a cost to activate a card or an optional effect. However, it can be used as a cost to activate a mandatory effect, such as Doom Caliber Knight. If a monster with a continuous effect that destroys itself under certain conditions, like Giant Kozaki or Zombie Mammoth, survives a man's calculation not being considered to be destroyed by battle, that continuous effect will immediately apply at this point and destroy that monster if those conditions are still met. If a monster would rip face up during the damage step and rivalry of the Warlords or Ocean Mag is still active, that monster, if that monster has an attribute slash type that conflicts with another monster already face up on the field, the flipped monster will immediately be sent to the graveyard at this point. If a monster was flipped face up during the damage step and its name conflicts with another monster that is already face up on the field, such as defined by an unclassified effect that states you can only control one or you can only be one monster on the field, 
belonging either to the flip monster or not the face up monster, flip monster will immediately be destroyed at this point, unless it was already considered to be destroyed in a battle. Monsters destroyed this way are not considered to be destroyed by a card effect. Any cards and effect with the following activation conditions now activate in a chain. If they do not have further specified activation timing, such as at the end of the damage step. When this card inflicts battle damage to your opponent, or if when you inflict battle damage to your opponent with this effect, or if when you take battle damage is also after damage calculation, and if when this card flip face up. 8. Monsters that were determined to be destroyed by battle are now normally sent to the graveyard, unless they are pendulum monsters. They return to the extra deck instead, or if a card effect that states otherwise. If an effect prevents a monster's destruction by battle, it is chosen earlier in the damage step to be applied at applied, it applies at this point. Cards and effects with the following activation conditions are activate at this point if triggered appropriately. Example, if when this card is destroyed by battle, or if and a monster you control is destroyed by battle, or if when this card destroys a monster by battle, or at the end of the damage step. If a card with ESCP specifies a possible activation condition that can occur at this point, such as a monster being destroyed in general and sent to the graveyard, you can activate at this point unless it says except during the damage step. An example of this is Chetonian Blast. In the context of the text of Seismic Shockwave, if it does not have ESCT, the Yu-Gi-Oh! TCG card database may have a newer text for that card. Otherwise, the TCG rulings is explained the activation legality if there were any issue for that card. Once there are no effects left to activate or resolve, the damage step ends and the battle step is automatically entered. At the time both players agree to enter the battle step, the effects that apply until the end of the damage step now expire and no longer apply. Now, I will explain the last step of the battle phase, which is the end step. The end step is the last step in the battle phase. It is also commonly referred to in card effects as the end of the battle phase. The end step is currently traditionally entered from the battle step, although card effects may force it to be entered from the start step. Instead, such as those of Electromagnetic Turtle and Scrub Raid. If the battle phase is skipped to another phase due to a card effect like Flashbang or Neko Money King, the end step is never entered. 1. Fast effects and appropriate trigger or trigger like effects may be activated here, such as the effects of Ancient Forest or Gladiator Beast Monsters and Skull Conductor as per the rules of fast effect timing. Cards that would force an extra battle and make that proceed to damage calculation, such as Equip Shot, cannot be activated by this point. Card effects that would negate a future attack such as Necro Carter and Hero Barrier, Hero Barrier cannot be activated by this point. Card effects that would end the battle phase, making the battle phase proceed to the end step, such as Back Catastrophe and Electromagnetic Turtle cannot be activated at this point. And with that, that is the end of explaining the battle phase breakdown in Yu-Gi-Oh! You are now one step closer to becoming a Yu-Gi-Oh! Master. My fate is in your hands. Like and subscribe. Hate and subscribe. You could decide to not subscribe at all. The choice is yours. Goodbye.